those of you who have been following me on YouTube for a while uh, have seen me put oil paint over color pencils over illustration markers uh, when I create my artwork. And I do this process because it enables me to work quickly and also have a certain depth uh, in my work. But I'm like a med scientist. I, I always uh, try to improve my process. And I decided to uh, invest in some oil pastels. And my uh, rationale for that is it, it falls somewhere in between color pencils and oil paint. It's a little bit more opaque than color pencils, uh, and it's a little bit more mixable than color pencils. And, you know, of course, color pencils give you that uh, un unparalleled accuracy because you're working with such a fine point, and you can mix. Uh, and oil paint, uh, really, that you can layer it better than anything. But um, these four media that you see in front of you, I'm going to use them today uh, uh, to create an artwork of the winner of my latest contest. So this is the winner of my latest contest, and uh, these are her channels. Um, and this is also the reference image that I'm using. This is the first of three parts, and this is the only one of the three that's going to go super, super fast. And um, I, I made this super fast purposefully because we covered this already in a, a very recent video, uh, you know, how I use illustration markers in my artwork. And I don't want to be redundant. Um, to sum it up in one sentence, it's the first layer of color, and the following layers um, you will at least partially be able to see through. See, told you that would be fast. Okay, now let's get to work with the new medium. Um, like I said in the introduction, the oil pastels are more opaque and more mixable than the colored pencils. And, you know, I always would have problems uh, at times with uh, the, the points of the colored pencils, which would dig into the surface of the paper. I, I like to use paper in my artwork, or uh, as the, uh, the base of my artwork. Um, and, you know, that was, that's kind of like a conflict of interest when you use colored pencils. I'm not stopping with the colored pencils, but, you know, the, all of this blendability that the pastels give me uh, just lets me worry about outlines and a little bit of blending with the, uh, the colored pencils. You're going to see me use them later. But right now, uh, I'm trying to have the mindset of a painter, and I'm just applying layers of, uh, well, not layers, I'm, I'm applying the pas pastels right on top of the first layer of color. Uh, what you see right there, that is liquid. Liquid mixes with, like, almost any oil-based medium, um, or mediums uh, that are mixable with oil, such as the colored pencils. And I'm taking a paintbrush, and really I applied the paint down to the surface, I said paint. Forget that I just said paint. I applied the pastels down to the surface, and now uh, I'm moving them around with the, the paintbrush. Uh, the liquid also solidifies each layer so that I could uh, layer the, uh, the oil pastels. And, you know, brushes come in, in many different varieties, and, you know, th they allow me to do different things. Uh, you know, for instance, like a fan brush, uh, pulls the the pastel or the paint, you know, from side to side. Um, flat brushes do the same thing. Round brushes give you a little bit more of a point to work with. And I'm using a, a few different brushes in this uh, artwork that I'm doing. But I'm looking at my photo reference, and I'm trying to match what I see. Um, I'm looking at the edges. I'm always interested in the edges. You know, it, light plays on things very, uh, in a strange way sometimes, and it, you have to really notice the colors and notice the hardness of each edge. And the pastels are excellent for that, because colored pencils, you're somewhat limited. And I've relied on painting, so th this is, it, it's like a compromise in between. Now I'm going over to the uh, the other figure, and I'm doing the same thing. Oh, and look, uh, that's my palette on the side. I'm actually going to do some mixing on the palette. So I'm going to, uh, almost like how I mix paint, I'm going to mix the t uh, like two or three colors together with the pastels, and I'm going to use the liquid, um, you know, to kind of uh, make it a little bit more uh, watery. And then I'm going to put it on top of the, uh, the figure's face that you see right there. Or uh, I'm, also, I'm just going to go straight on like I did with the first figure.
I experimented a little bit first, but really this is this is only like my second or third time using oil pastels. And uh, you know, there's a learning curve, but um hey, you know what? I, I believe in going mad scientist. Sometimes I'll take um, you know, I'll take my lumps as they say. You know, I learn the hard way with some things and it might make it a little bit longer because uh, I'll have to fix them with the mediums that I'm more comfortable with, but it's worth it, you know, because I, I pick up that extra expertise. Okay, so I finished with the oil pastels. If you look at the faces right now, it, it's very much like oil paint. It, it's not as opaque and layered as oil paint, um, but uh, it, it's very much like oil paint. And one thing that I learned is you have to be very, very careful with the color pencils now. I'm so used to going like directly into the, um, the illustration markers at this point, and I could press as hard as I want. Um, I said before I didn't like that it damaged the page, but I suppose I would let that happen. Uh, the oil pastels, if you press really hard, uh, um, you know, with the colored pencils on top of the oil pastels, it's going to start digging some of the oil pastels up, and that happened to me. If you look really hard, you'll see little pieces here and there, and I had to be really careful. Breaking the golden rule, don't use your hands. Uh, I had to. I hate doing clothing. Oh, I, I, I do. It's I love doing faces. That's like uh, the fun part. Clothing, boring. Just being honest. <laughs> As you can tell, I spent most of the time on the, um, you know, the face... Uh, well, both of the faces. Uh, there was a really complex shadow that was going on. And, um, you know, it was quite a challenge uh, to try to uh, get the shadows. Um, on the uh, left side of, um, of uh, this figure's face and the right side of uh, the other figure's face, um, you know, there was both a highlight and a shadow. And I really liked, you know, that I had uh, something mixable in my hand with the oil pastels. I added a layer to the background of illustration marker. I mean, somebody won a contest, so, you know, I want to give them a nice piece of artwork. I'm such a nice guy. Um, I'm also using a, um, uh, a, a stick. It, that's a, a colored pencil. Um, it, I'm sorry, it's called Prisma Art Sticks. And it's almost like a pastel, but it's a colored pencil. Um, if, if you did a Google search for Prisma Art Sticks, or even if you went to my website, um, the supplies I use section has a, a, a part on Prisma Art Sticks. Um, some people don't like using oil pastels. Uh, in fact, like the times before um, it, I used this, like when I was in school, I was like, oh, I'm never using this again. But uh, my curiosity got the better of me, and you know, here I am using oil pastels. But um, colored pencils made a lot more sense to me, and you know, I, I encourage all of the young artists out there, find the materials that make the most sense to you. Keep trying new materials. Sometimes the ones that didn't make sense at one point are going to make a lot of sense uh, in the future, uh, and that's the case with me right now. Soon you're going to see me put some paint uh, on the palette and, um, you know, go directly on top of this. But uh, I have a likeness at this point, but I, ju I just want it to be a little bit more blendable. And the honest assessment of the oil pastels is, uh, you know, it, it's not, at the, uh, there's the paint, it's not blendable at the same level as the paint, um, or the same capacity as the paint. Yeah, that's a better word. Um, but if you combine the two of them, uh, you have the best of both worlds. I'll say this. It was a lot easier doing hair with oil pastels. I hate doing hair with oil paint. It, it's such a pain. Um, but, uh, you know, especially with the liquid and the paint brushes, I was able to apply directly to the surface. And, and that was really helpful to me. Uh, I, and I'm glad that I uh, purchased them. I, I'm definitely planning on using them again. Uh, this artwork, I'm, I'm featuring them in this video. 
Uh, so I have to use it a lot, but I think I'm going to use it a little bit less next time, you know, for areas like the, the hair, um, you know, the, the fine details it didn't work as well with, like the, the corners of the lips, uh, the shapes of the eyes. You know, I, I fixed that. Changed the light, so um, sorry if that just, like, totally looks different right now. Um, and I, oh, you know what, I guess I skipped a, uh, a, um, a part of the video. Um, I did a glaze layer in the background. It was just a very simple part. I just confused myself. Sorry about that. But now, you know, as compared to before, um, you know, the, the skin tones are, are much, much more blended. And the oil paint uh, was really the uh, enabler for me to do that. And I think we're uh, wrapping up. Um, if you have any questions, just, uh, you know, put it in the comment section. Uh, and I'll get to as many as I can. Um, thank you so much for watching the video.